Got another mailbag. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packages. I seem to always have nine packages. Just seems to be what I get in about a week. All right, let's move these aside. I'll use this. Let's try these big ones first. Get the small ones. The small ones over here. I always bury my blade. All right. Let's start with this. Uh, with this one. Very light. I guess it's a project box of some sort. USB cable. <laughs> uh, no. I mean, come on, people. That's not even close. No one's going to believe that's a USB cable. Uh, so I've been buying a bunch of different size containers. Um, I found these. I really like these. I think these are the same. Oh no, these are a little smaller. They're the same kind as this one I had previously, but they're a little thinner. So, uh, as far as the depth goes. And they got these little... Oh, no, these don't have latches. How does this open? Okay, so they're just little latches. They actually close really well, really thin, but they're good for throwing stuff in. I don't know how you're supposed to open that. I think you push. Jeez. Maybe you... I think you have to... Oh, that's weird. That's uh, it's a little tough to open. How? That hurts. <laughs> that plastic hurts trying to get that. That holds really tight. I don't know how you're supposed to open that. So I don't like those as much as these. These actually have a little tab that you can open them with. These are just... There's no tab. You really gotta just squeeze them apart. That's kind of annoying. Pretty big. I mean, they're good for putting little components in. Like, if you want to put all your project, all your, I'm doubt they're ESD. Uh, they seem to be uh, PP05. Uh, what's PP? Poly. Propylene? Let's look that up. 05. Recycle code 05. Alright, so that's that. This is ear spoon. I thought that other thing I bought was an ear spoon. Maybe I got more than one. Uh, I bought a bunch of weird stuff, and here's another one. Okay, this is a different kind of ear spoon. Well, this is another weird eBay purchase. Just a steel ear spoon made for scoop and earwax out of your ears. Um, that one seems a little safer than using that. It's got like a little, it's almost like those little honey, uh, honey spoons. It's got like a little thing on the end. I don't know. I don't know why I bought that. I just thought it was kind of interesting. Maybe it'll come in handy for something. Wrapping wires or prying into something. I don't know. All right, connector terminals. All right, these are these uh, blue spade connectors I've been waiting for. I got the yellow ones a little while ago. Um, whatever gauge that is. All right, next is 10 pieces VH 3.6. Nine, nine six straight. I don't know. Nine six straight. Must be some kind of connector or pin. Oh, more uh, pin headers. Not sure what sizes these are. It says uh, three dot nine six. Must be the pin pitch. 
Now these are typically used for um, like uh, higher amperage connectors. And they, they have their locking connectors. Although I don't have the other ones, maybe I ordered the males and females separate from each other. I'm not sure what this is. Doesn't seem to say. This is like a battery shield. Yeah, I think it's like a lily pad compatible battery shield with the on off switch. I thought that would be useful for testing coin cells and stuff, having a, a mount. Oh, did I drop the package? I did. Oh. Alright, this is. Plastic box. Oh, I think it's another storage box. Yeah, see, these storage boxes are all packaged pretty nicely for a dollar something or a dollar, whatever they are. That one's a little easier to open. It's got a lip on it. It's nice and wide. It's pretty, pretty big. It'll hold some really nice long stuff. It, it might even hold. Yeah, well, it would be good for putting little instruments in and stuff. I think this would be better for tweezers and long stuff like that. Um, or some, some, some strips of wire and stuff like that. I mean, that's this, these other ones. And these are nice because they're square, so they might stack better. I bet resistors and stuff fit really good in that. They might fit in those too. So, some more boxes. I just ordered a bunch of cheap boxes just to see how they all look. Terminal 10. All right. These must be the other connectors for the... They don't have the pins. I, they must use a standard pin. Hopefully I have the pins that go in them. But these are the uh, locking male connectors for those other ones, except for these. Alright, next. Glasses. X1. I don't know what that means, but... Oh, okay. Cool. This is a 15x loop magnifier. It works fine up to close. It's good for close inspection. I need lots of light though. I'm gonna have to put some kind of light on it. This might make a good macro camera lens. I'm not really sure. Probably won't work with the optics. Yeah, that's not gonna work. See, it needs a lot of light. Okay. Hmm. Alrighty then. Well, that's just a little 15x loop. You really need to just get really close to something. The focal distance is very close. So, 
Uh, it's got limited usability, but hey, a lot cheaper than a microscope. For now. Well, SMD transistor. This is the last package. These are SOT23, 18 values, 10 pieces, 180 pieces of assorted transistors. SMD transistors. So now I have a variety of transistors. So, so I've got a pretty good selection of SMD components now. So that should help me prototyping and building stuff. And uh, so that's it for today. Let's see if these uh, actually work. Uh, I'm not sure. These look like these pins might be special. I'm gonna have to get the pins too. I don't know why they don't come with the pins. Uh, but these go on like. Hmm? Oh, that's <laughs> backwards. Let's go on like that. Of course, you gotta put the pins in there. They look bigger than DuPont pins, so you, I'm gonna have to get some of those too. And the spacing is a very weird spacing. I think it's 3.96. So that's that. Kind of a small mail bag, but uh, that's it. Till next time.